morning everyone. It is currently snowing outside. Welcome to Friday. We're supposed to have another little snowstorm here. It's very lightly snowing right now, but it's supposed to kind of pick up as the day goes on. I really need to put our recycling bins out on the curb. I'm just out of Walmart and I finally bought plastic protectors, which I've been, been really needing to do, so I'm glad I finally did it. I did look at the prices on Amazon and it was like uh, roughly around the same, so I was just like, I'd rather have them now. I think they might have even been cheaper in Walmart. But the pricing was really weird. So for a pack of 20, it was 88 cents, but for a pack of 100, and I believe they were the same quality, it was like over seven it was like over six dollars in, in between six and seven dollars i don't remember the exact price but like that doesn't make sense because if i bought five of these i'd be spending less than five dollars so you save more by buying them separate i don't know i looked at the i looked at the pricing there and i was just like what i didn't i couldn't really make a choice either way though because they were like out of the 100 pack and so i just bought all the 20s anyway but that's I assume they were the same quality, although I couldn't technically compare because they didn't have the 100 pack in stock. Anyway, I was just real confused about it, but now I kind of wish I could go home right now so that I could stick them all in and it'd be all wonderful and stuff like that. And I already bought a binder, so I'm all set to go. But unfortunately, I have to work in about an hour. Yeah, in like one hour I have to work, so there's no time to go home, or there is a little bit of time to go home. I could be there for like 20 minutes. That's not a waste of gas, so I'm just going to sit in the car and continue listening to my book until I have to go to work. And we're home. It's hours later. Giselle is putting her music inside of the thing she showed you earlier. Yes, because uh, I finally bought them. They are very, very cheap feeling. But like, but, I mean, it doesn't matter. They just need to hold one, like, a couple pieces of paper. Yeah, but like, once two pieces of paper are in them, I think they'll actually turn great. It's gonna be yeah. much better than fumbling around, because like, on my piano at home, if I could lay out like three pieces of paper or whatever, like, that worked okay, but like here, we can get like two max. And it's really awkward, and they fall over, so. Yeah. I also bought this at the Dollar Tree when I was there a f week or so ago in preparation for this. It's pretty janky, but, like, it was a dollar, so I'd rather spend a dollar on this than spend, like, five or ten dollars on a binder, because, like... I mean, it's just a nice... Che you don't need it to be nice. No, you I don't. I mean, it's just... Yeah. We'll just hold it, everything lovely, so I'll give you a tour through. But I'm going to quickly put them in and show you how I like to arrange my music It'll be great. And Christopher should put me out some more. <clears throat> Love you. <laughs> also, it is the last day of this month, but we are finally, and we're not going to let it get close, this close to the wire in the future. But we're, you know, finally going to make the recipe. One of our Patreon supporters, they uh, are pledged at the recipe thing that we had, and which we're going to keep. It's going to get lowered for the next month, uh, which you'll see. You'll have seen in the Patreon video if you're uh, if you're already on Patreon, if you're already one of our patrons, or you'll have seen me talk about that a couple weeks ago when I talked about it. But we are going to make our Patreon vid video tonight as well. That will go out tomorrow because tomorrow's the first, and uh, more people will be able to see it hopefully. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna make this recipe. It's actually uh, a baking kind of recipe. It's uh, blueberry muffin bread, which sounds. Very good. All it needed that we didn't already have was blueberries. So I went to the store today, the grocery store, got some blueberries, and we should be able to make it pretty easily, hopefully. It looks pretty simple, and uh, hopefully it will be very good. This is one of the recipes that Rebecca, our patron uh, at this level, sent us. So we're going to give it a shot, and, uh, and she'll send us more, hopefully, and we'll do more next month, and it should be awesome. But I'm going to start getting all the ingredients together uh, right now and I'm not sure how long it'll take to make but uh, we haven't really eaten dinner necessarily uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do about that but who says we can't have a little bit of a breakfasty dessert before before dinner actually happens so here is everything that is needed it needs one cup of sugar uh, this 
whole stick of butter, two cups of flour, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, one cup of milk, which I have not grabbed yet, uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, and two cups of blueberries, and two eggs. So, yeah, I have to mix these two things together first, and then add other things in slowly, and then they're all going to go in here, obviously. And Giselle is playing the piano, because she's amazing. So we're going to cream these two things together. Giselle is, because if I try to do it, then I would get stuff everywhere. This is a proven fact. I mean, a bigger bowl might have been advised. This is the biggest bowl we have. No, it's not. No. No. Two, two eggs. And Giselle is amazing at cracking them, and I am not in the slightest. Wow, look at that. Awesome. And then one tablespoon of vanilla extract, which does seem like a lot. Well, I've never we, seen a recipe with that much I guess vanilla. we better buy some more, because we're almost out now. Well, there goes all of our vanilla extract. <laughs> one recipe. <laughs> on my tippy toes. <laughs> so this is uh, two cups of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder uh, mixed together and kind of adding into the other mixture. Yeah, um, I, this, I, this I mixed them first though just to make sure that they were combined so you didn't get any like weird like baking powder chunks. Yeah, so this is gonna be mixed until it's completely mixed together and whatnot. So. And it says well combined. Yeah. So now we've got to add in two cups of blueberries uh, by hand. Mix them by hand so you don't crush the berries. Washing our blueberries first because you gotta do that. And here's our first cup. One cup of blueberries right there. And we already know that an, an entire package filled this cup so we can just pour this right in. Yep. And that's a lot of blueberries. <laughs> it's gonna be so blueberry filled. There's a picture on uh, the recipe website that she sent us that uh, is just a great picture that shows all this delicious like blueberryness inside the bread so I'm really hoping ours turns out awesome like that. It has lots of blueberries, so it should be good. Are you excited? I'm very excited, actually. This looks delicious. It sounds awesome. And here's all the dishes that we made. Well, those and the metal bowl that she's using. What's this thing? Just these. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> and greasing the pan. It took me a, a, for like a little bit. I wasn't sure if we actually had one of these, and then I was freaked out because I was like, "Oh crap! Do we actually have one of these? Should I go back to the store and get one?" And I, then I remembered that my mom did buy me one a long time ago. So and we've had it. So yep. good. I don't. The thing says nine inch. One of those bread things. I don't know if that's a nine inch one. So I think it I, is. I think it'll all fit in here. I hope it doesn't like overflow or anything. But I yeah, think it'll all fit. Yeah, it would be fine. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. And the uh, oven has been preheated to. 350. So, uh, so that's been going. It should, it's not quite preheated yet because I turned it on a little bit too late because I forgot. But <laughs> it, uh, it does go in for, let's see, it goes in for 60 to 75 minutes. Oh, wow. Oh, oops. Okay. Well, whoops. <laughs> it's late. It's later than we meant to make it, but I kind of fell asleep as soon as we got home. So, <laughs> let's just put it in the oven now. Yeah. <laughs> So this is my, oh, I'm not wearing my wedding ring, just a second. I took it off to mix the butter with my hands really quickly to help melt it a little bit. Anyway, this is my wonderful new binder. I told Chris that we're gonna need to buy him one too, and he said that he's just gonna switch straight to these songs, so it wasn't even necessary. So he's sassy and moving on. So I'm gonna quickly go through all my songs and tell you how I organize them. So I kind of started off with like movie themes, First, sort of, oh, sort of, eh, you'll see. This is Comte d'une autre ette. I don't know how to say that, don't blame me. It's from Amelie and it's five pages long. It's a beautiful song. I've played it on the vlog before. And then next I have another beautiful song. This is Four River, Johnny's version from To The Moon, which is an incredible game, highly recommend it. We have the first like most of the game on our <laughs> gaming channel. So if you wanna go watch that you can although we have not finished it yet we will at some point next we have some more movie sort of it's like the bbc like four episode mini series of north and south so i have thornton's walk and then i also have the northbound train again two more really beautiful songs that i really love 
And then we have Anne's theme from the Anna Green Gables BBC miniseries, which is another beautiful version. I'm not in love with this arrangement. It's pretty, it's fun, but there's an arrangement that I grew up playing that I really, really loved that I'm going to have to get a copy from from my mother. So that's three pages. And then we have Minda's Desperate Hour, which is a really beautiful song from the Twilight Princess, Legend of Zelda. And that's three pages as well. And this arrangement is really pretty as well, and it's not that hard. Now we have the rest of the Legend of Zelda stuff so that I have printed out here. I have like so much printed out in California. It's ridiculous. But we have the Minish Woods which is from Minish Cap obviously. Then we all have the Pecori Festival which is also from Minish Cap which is two pages long but then I also have a duet that's just one page which is really fun to play. My mom and I used to play it together. And then we have Story also from Minish Cap. Can you tell? I really like that game. And then we have the Clock Town First Day from Majora's Mask, which is another wonderful Zelda game. And then we have Dearly Beloved from Kingdom Hearts. This is the 1.5 remix, and it's a really beautiful version. It's There's like two versions of the song, basically. Well, there's a ton of versions of the song, but this is the one from the first game. I like it better. Christopher likes the one from the second game better, but this has like the... Which the normal one only has this but extra stuff added in so um that's the difference between those i'm probably gonna learn both but this is my preferred version and it's only a page and it's really easy so it's it's fun next i have the objection theme from phoenix wright ace attorney which is a really fun game and a very enjoyable theme it's a bit tricky to play the counting's a little strange but it's really fun and i really enjoy the song then we have Art My Chrono Trigger section, which I started off with Chrono Trigger, of course, because this song is freaking amazing. And then we have The Wind Scene, which I love the song as well. I've been playing this song forever. Again, this is not the version that I've played before, and I don't like it as much as the version that I've played before, so I'm probably going to have to hunt that version down online somewhere or get my mom to bring it to me when I see her next. Then we have the Brink of Time theme which is just really slow and pretty and it's like a waltz almost. And then we have At the Bottom of Night. All these are from Chrono Trigger and they're all incredible. Also if you can hear Christopher squeaking his chair in the other room, we apologize. But this one's another like slower, more beautiful one and so they're really interesting to play. This one it has like a strange like crossover section you can see that there's two right hand parts and they kind of like overlap i don't know it's weird there's two treble clefs and so you play this one with your right hand and this one with your left and it makes it easier to read but it also makes it trickier because your hands are right on top of each other the whole time and i feel like the only good way to get through the song is to like play the top and octave higher i don't know i'm still i'm still dabbling with it so we'll see then i have frog's theme one of my favorites this is the first song from chrono trigger that i really really fell in love with and it's still one of my favorites and this is actually a pretty good arrangement some of the arrangements are a bit crazy but this one's this one's doable and since i don't really have my piano skill up to where i used to it's kind of like a good starting point next we have the battle theme number one and of course just really enjoy this one next we have my first version of kindle kingdom trial so this is the trial that happens very near very near the beginning actually and i i really like this song a lot it's actually one of my favorite songs from Crunder trigger i have a second version which i don't like the arrangement as much i prefer this one it's easier for me to read and play so this one I just put in here because I have it, but I'll probably never play it, and soon it will probably be going to its rightful home, which is the garbage can. And we're getting very close to the end now, so we have Fanfare number one, which is Luca's theme. Again, one of my favorites. And then we also have Gatto's song. These are all from Chrono Trigger because Chrono Trigger, if you could not tell, is my favorite game of all time. And I just really enjoy both of these. These are two that I've actually kind of been working on and I'm trying to get like fast and consistent and it's been really enjoyable. So I'll have to show that to you sometime soon when I've conquered it a bit more. And my final song in here is Pretty Little Liar's Secret, written for the piano. And it's actually a really fun version that it's just enjoyable to play. I really enjoy three four time i enjoy like playing waltzes and i enjoy waltzing too so it's just it's 
it's a fun song and I enjoyed it a lot. And so those are everything that I have inside my new piano binder. And it'll probably be full to bursting in the very near future. And... This is what it looks like an hour and ten minutes later. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it smells good too. Oh my yeah, yeah, this whole apartment smells like this now. And it's kind of amazing and wonderful. I'm so excited. Now we have to test it. <laughs> it's not ready. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, it's not oh, ready at all. Oh, dear. Nope, let's put it back in for oh, a geez. long while more. All right, so a little bit, not too long later, maybe like 15 minutes or so, or 20 minutes, I don't know. There it is, it's done. Uh, I just tested it with a knife and it came out clean. And we're gonna let it sit for just a little bit because it's ridiculously hot, but it still smells amazing and it's gonna be amazing. So we're excited. So I've cut it and this is the big reveal. <gasps> Look at all that oh blueberryness. My the gosh. first pieces. It, we, we, had a, we took it out of the pan and then flipped over, flipped over so the first piece got crushed a little bit. But Holy. look at all those blueberries, oh my gosh. Holy cow. That is stuff of blueberries. Oh dear. Yeah, this needs to cool, but I'm excited and I want to eat it right this second. I'm just demolished this piece. All right, <laughs> this is, it's hot, it's chock full of blueberries. Let's give it a shot. And then before that, it tastes like a blueberry muffin. <laughs> mm-hmm, it tastes like a blueberry muffin, definitely. Which is why it is called blueberry muffin bread. Wonderful. It's actually really good, and I'm glad there's a ton of blueberries, because it's kind of like... Yeah. Gooey and delicious, and I feel like the batter is pretty sweet on its own. Yeah. The blueberry kind of balances it out a little bit. Yeah, it was such a sweet batter with so much sugar and, you know, van vanilla yeah, and vanilla. Mm -hmm. the, the blueberries definitely balance that out quite a bit, and it's good. Oh, this is actually really good. Mm -hmm. I know we're going to be eating for breakfast for the next three days. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for recommending this. It was delicious, and we can recommend it back to you to try at yeah. some point. And we look forward to your next recipe that you choose, because I'm sure it will be equally delicious. This next time, we should, we'll should we probably end up making a meal. But yeah. this is actually a really good dessert-slash-breakfast item, because that happens a lot in the U.S. for some reason that I don't understand. It's delicious. <laughs> and we'll leave, I mean, we kind of walked you through how to make it. We'll leave the, re the recipe down below. And you guys should make it yourselves and send us pictures of it and let us know how it turned out for you because it's very good. It, we're going to keep eating it. We'll let, keep letting you know how it goes like over the next couple of days, like how it, how it tastes like after a day of having been made. If, like over the next couple of days, we'll tell you, tell you how it goes and how, how the if the ch taste changes, if it's still just as good, it should be. So we'll see. That's basically it today. I did want to mention one other thing. I went out to lunch earlier today with my retouching coworkers. Uh, it was one of, uh, the one that I worked with at the other studio. Uh, his birthday was today. And so all of us, the five of us that are retouchers now, uh, four of us plus our, our manager, the post-production manager, uh, she took us out to lunch. And we went to this place that was really good. I had a burger. It was wonderful. It was like a burger that was literally drenched in onion rings. Drenched is the wrong word. It was covered to the point where I had to like pull a ton of junk onion rings off of it and like have that as the side. It was really good. <laughs> really delicious. Very, very good. And it was a fun time. We sat, sat there for like two hours and just like talked and hung out and stuff. And I really like, I really like my retouching coworkers. They're awesome. They're very funny and fun to talk to. So yeah, uh, yeah, it was a really good day. And tomorrow will be fun. Giselle does have to work tomorrow, but I'm going to be doing something fun and hopefully some cool stuff happens. Tomorrow night, we'll talk about them more tomorrow. We did film a Patreon video today, by the way. So that went out. That's going to go out. I'm going to edit it right now. And that's going to go out tomorrow morning-ish. So. He doesn't want me in the frame. <laughs> no. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone.